Hello, this is Dr. Leo at the Lead Time. In today's video, I will show you an easy way to make an all botanic moss wash by using a lavender and a peppermint. Lavender has a wonderful benefits of a calming and help us to relax. It's perfect to improve our the sleeping quality. And also, lavender has a good anti-inflammation and antibacterial. Medical study proof lavender essential oil has antibacterial against many different oral bacteria. And it can help uh, to prevent the growth and the spread of the bacteria in order to keep the health of the mouth. And peppermint essential oil and its extract has been used in many mouth care or teeth care products. It can help uh, to remove a bad breeze and also has benefit of uh, antibacterial. In this video, I will show you a way to make a, a botanical mouthwash by using lavender and peppermint by steam distillation. So it has the benefits of the both of the herbs and there's no alcohol and no additives. If you are new to distillation, distillation is a way to extract the phytochemicals, the volatile parts. It's a different with the tea making or infuse or tincture. It contains only those small molecules to protect itself from bacteria, insects. So today I'm using Litime IT3000 distiller to do the distillation. Uh, the first step, you add water in the pot. And the second step, we fill the column with herbs we are going to extract. So we got to use the lavender and a peppermint. Uh, the ratio is a one to one. It's pretty simple. So first we add a lavender. The different herbs contain a different amount of uh, essential oil. Lavender, uh, if we use the lavender buds, that's uh, what I use. Uh, it contains a uh, pretty good uh, essential oil uh, the content. By using just one column, uh, this uh, lavender can make uh, a few milliliters of essential oil. So first add a half column of uh, lavender buds. So after add a lavender, then we add a peppermint. Uh, the peppermint when we distill, we use the leaf. Uh, I'm using the dry leaf, crushed uh, dry leaf. Just put on top of the flower. So until you add it to the edge, just uh, uh, softly pat it, um, tap it, and then put the top sieve on. During the distillation, so you generally need uh, two parts. The first part is the distill part, the boiler, the water boil and steam goes through the herbs and then go into the condenser. This is where the condensation happens. So the steam go back to the liquid. So this is where the distillate come out. Distillate is the name of the product of the distillation. And today I'm using the circulation cooling. You can use a manual cooling. Manual cooling means you close the circulation ports and just add cold water 
or ice cubes in there and then replace it when you get a hot. So that's perfect for a short term distillation. Uh, today I'm using the circulation so you have a pump and a valve and go through and the tube into the condenser and they keep circulating. So using the reservoir to help keep uh, the condensation part cold so you can always cool down the steam. The distillation setup is ready so just wait until the distillate coming out and I keep collecting them. And uh, the process take around uh, one hour uh, in order to get a liter of uh, the hydrosol and essential oil. Essential oil will be floating on top of the hydrosol. It won't be a much, just uh, uh, a few a milliliter. It depends on the herbs you use. So let me pause the distillation. I want to show you uh, the first 500 milliliter of the hydrosol, how it looks like. So actually it's a pretty cloudy and uh, there are even a uh, layer of the oil and I can still see some oil drops in there. Um, for this uh, fresh made hydrosol, I recommend just keep the small amount of oil in the hydrosol um, because when you use it and uh, the essential oil can keep going into the hydrosol to make it saturated and make it uh, very potent. And now I continue my distillation and I'm gonna collect at least one liter of the hydrosol from this uh, one batch of a distillation. Now lavender mint uh, hydrosol is made and uh, there also a pretty good amount of essential oil on top of the hydrosol. And you can see the beautiful cloudy uh, the milky color of the hydrosol that means it's very concentrated. Okay, so how do we use it? There are two ways to use this uh, beautiful lavender mint hydrosol. The first one use a mouthwash as I mentioned in the beginning. Um, because it's pretty strong, I recommend you dilute it one by one. So you give a one part of the hydrosol and always remember before you use it, give a good shake. So give a good shake. So let the oil disperse the well into the water. So you don't want to just pour the oil out directly. So you want them to disperse or dilute it in the hydrosol. So give one part of the hydrosol mixed with one part of the drinking water and use that to rinse the mouth after clean. And the second one, I love it very much, is uh, putting a spray bottle. After shake, putting a spray bottle and use it as a mouth spray. And keep it with you anytime you feel dry mouth or you don't feel comfortable, just spray it in the mouth. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.